What's going on YouTube? Geosan right here. So in today's video, we have great news for those of you interested in iOS downgrades. A new version of TSS Checker has been released, and this one finally comes with support for saving the new Cryptex One blob. This video is brought to you by 8KSec, a company that provides training for iOS security researchers. So if you want to learn how to make your own jailbreak or how iOS internals work, iOS security and so on, definitely check out their course. So back on iOS 16, the Cryptex One component was released, and this one completely broke downgrades because it's a brand new component with its own generators and stuff like that. So new nonce, new generator, whatever. You cannot forge it and you cannot just pop up some uh, random numbers in there. The downgrade would fail. But now TSS Checker does support saving those blobs. Now, as you can see, last week we got a new update, the version 438 over here. This is the tag number. And as you can see, it's finally saying supports Cryptex blobs. Now the description is quite simple. The iOS 16 added a new component with its own seed and generator and nonce called Cryptex 1. A jailbreak is required to save and use Cryptex blobs. In fact, checkmate is needed in order to use Cryptex blobs. So this is a huge component and this is a huge milestone in the community because a while ago we didn't even understand how the Cryptex 1 component works or how to save it. Recently a brand new tool was released by Cryptex, the X8A4, which allows you to do a lot of things including including to essentially get the app nonce to save blobs, get a cryptic seed, cryptic nonce, dump nonce entanglement keys, set nonces in the NVRAM, whatever. So it's an all-in-one tool. And this one is actually supporting iOS 15.0 up to 18.4 because you can actually jailbreak iOS 18.4 in the form of iPadOS 18.4. You can do so with Pelrain. So it's possible to get this to work if you have the right tools and the right tools being checkmate and the proper jailbreak so for now these are actually destined more for the checkmate compatible devices but the research is still ongoing and we barely start to understand very well how cryptex one works now this has been updated the tss checker for now it does require a jailbreak to save the blobs and of course to use them now for the basement serial number you actually need to run a command idevice info minus k basement serial number and if you do have idevice info which is part of libi mobile device it should yield the serial number for the basement as you can see over here so you do need all of these in order to create the final command now i can't stress this enough this is not for the new devices at the moment even though there is support for newer ios it still requires a proper jailbreak to even try to save those blobs for the new cryptex one component let alone to try to use them so downgrades will never be the same again they're not going to be easy we might see new stuff released in the future that may be able to use these blobs in order to perform downgrades because right now downgrades are completely dead because most tools do not even support the cryptex one component let alone to be able to save it so yeah that's basically it thank you for watching keep an eye on the TSS checker and Geosnow. Peace out.